Well, hello again, and thanks for joining me. This is gonna be a really short video. It's only because I wanna share something with you that has been really quite transformative for me. And although I'm absolutely sure that many of you out there already know this trick, there will be some who don't. I am sick to death of breaking taps, especially when I'm tapping into some steel on the lathe or by hand, and I have really lost patience with it. And recently I read an article in a model engineering workshop that gave me an idea. And I think, I can't actually, I can't remember if it was a letter or it might have, an article, it might've been a letter. Anyway, it introduced me to one of these baby, a D speeder. Now I'm not completely sure what they were originally for. They're made by Raw Plug, right? And they don't make them anymore. So you, you can get them secondhand on eBay, but basically they, change the gear ratio of your drill chuck. So I believe that you could slow down the drill chuck when you were drilling into masonry and things like that. I think that's what I gather. I'm really no expert. But this article or this letter, whichever it was, said it's fantastic for tapping on the lathe. So it's so simple, it's so easy, and I reckon you won't break another tap. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super simple and hopefully it'll be as transformative for you as it is for me. Let's go. Okay, so where we are, I've drilled the hole to seven mil. It's an M8 tap. It should be a little bit less than seven mil, but it's for a demonstration. And the D-speeder is now in my drill chuck on my uh, tailstock, which is not locked. It's loose. Now, if you see what happens when I switch it on, I'll start at low speed. In fact, I'm gonna do everything at low speed. It turns with it. So you can see the tap is turning with the piece. Now all I need to do is to hold on to this piece and you'll see what happens. Then the minute that I get resistance, I let go again. And that way the tap won't break. So here I go. There you go. Oh. The light didn't like it. And all I need to do now is just There you go. And I'll try and do a bit of a close up on that. As you can see, it's uh, very efficient. It's very easy, it's very stress free. And I don't know about you, but I always find tapping a bit stressful because I don't know if it's gonna go in straight, if I'm gonna break the tap. But I've done this with M4, even down to M3, and it works really well. So anyway, if you can, try and find one of these on eBay. As I said, it's called a Rule Plug D-Speeder, and they do come in different sizes. I've seen them bigger than this, um, but they tend to cost, I've got, I think I bought two, I've given one to a friend, but I think they come out at about 15 pounds, um, so that's 20 bucks, and um, well worth the buy. Anyway, I hope that was useful for some of you. A lot of you all know this, but some of you won't. Thanks for watching.